Good morning guys, this is Samir and today is a very beautiful day in London and I thought I would share a video around morning habits and how it's really important to get your morning right in order to have a very productive day. Um, and it's a very sunny day in London so I'm just going to show you how it looks from my balcony. Uh, it looks really nice. Like I'll show you like this. Yeah, sometimes I'm like not very grateful about the views that you know I have from my face. Uh, but I have to remind myself uh, that you know, Samir, you're a lucky, lucky person to be living in uh, very close to central London, but in a very good location. But you know, it's open. It's quite windy. Uh, I can see a lot of buildings. It's nice. It's nice, and you know, it helps to boost uh, my mood as well at times uh, let's put it that way uh, and then you know I'll show you some wall art as well there's some wall art right down there like throughout like it's pretty relatively new uh, but anyways going back to the topic three ways to make your morning more productive number one and the most important one is to wake up early um, You'd see a lot of YouTubers like Cassie Zander, Quasi Joyer, Tom Bilyeu, pretty much every personal development YouTuber uh, talking about the importance of waking up early. If you know Dwayne Johnson, he wakes up at 4.30. That guy's a machine. But I try to wake up by 7, like um, week weekends, um, 8, but weekdays, 7. Uh, and this is something I've realized by testing for a couple of years of what has worked for me better and you know there's a nice balance between sleeping too much and not sleeping at all and I think the sweet spot for me is seven hours could be different for you so um, you know uh, you can try it and uh, sort of test it out how do you how do I wake up early well there are three ways uh, to go about it three main ways number one is to go to bed early like no matter what that's that's sort of a proven system of waking up early uh, you know if, if you're in your early 20s then I'm 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 guessing it might be difficult because you're out a lot you're with your friends you're in university but if you're in your mid to late 20s when you have like work then waking up early can be very easy just because you're going to bed early uh, I tend to go to bed by 11 uh, or even before uh, right now it's summer so you know, the sundown is quite late so sometimes I don't go to bed that off, uh, early and then um, yeah no phones is the second thing just no phone or no gadgets an hour before you sleep is very 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 useful and I have been in that habit where I just use uh, keep my phone in another room and that really helps um, then finally use an alarm clock not your phone alarm clock because if let's say for me if I have my phone next to me while I'm sleeping then you know sometimes I'm just using my phone which again makes me not wake up early but then you can actually just buy a little alarm clock which I'll show you I'll go to my room in a bit and show you which alarm clock I use literally five pounds ten pounds from Amazon um, yeah so that's number one habit um, while while on the habits this is my pull-up bar I use it extensively uh, in the lockdown but recently haven't been using it primarily because I go to the gym now and then I've also got like a shoulder injury these days so out of gym or working out for a couple of uh, months actually um, but anyways number two habit morning habit is to meditate I mean I know a lot of people think meditation and bullshit it's like woo woo and all but it's very useful I mean talking about talking about people who are successful who know meditation is usually Ray Dalio he, he, Ray Dalio mentioned that you know for him meditation gives a bird's eye view on his life like once you sit down and there's different kind of meditations uh, Vipassana is one and I think that's one uh, that's the one I use where I just close my eyes and just focus on my breathing and obviously my mind wanders away into my day-to-day -day problems it does <laughs> you know it's uh, I'm not immune to that 
but then the idea is to just bring your mind back to you know, being focused on breathing again um, and don't beat yourself up to, uh, up for it uh, yeah and just breathe in breathe out set a time I usually do it for 12 minutes I've seen that you know it's it's been working well for me uh, not the most consistent with it but anyways so that's number two and then number three I'm gonna tell you shortly from my word test once I meditate Okay, so yeah, I'm back to my desk and uh, third thing that I think is very important for a good morning routine is having a plan of what you're going to do um, during that day. And I'll share with you a very basic template that I actually got from my trading friend um, and, you know, I'll just go over it while. So yeah, so this is Notion. Uh, in case you guys don't know what Notion is, Notion is basically a pretty much a personal journal, you can say, online digital personal journal, where you can do amazing things. So I've used Notion since the last two years. Um, just uh, I'll make another video about Notion uh, and you know how it has helped me, let's say this like, my version of a new Samir 2.0 version and what I do in terms of my trading, in terms of my other goals, everything's laid out here. It's very clear. I journal a lot of things in here and you know, you can pretty much go to notion.com and download it for free. But the point being, uh, I use is uh, the six minute success journal. And it, it is a really quick uh, exercise, which I do daily. Uh, sometimes I slip off, but I tend to do daily is do okay. What are the three things great you grateful for that just uh, brings your mind uh, yourself in a grateful mindset? And then I also look at what's my focus for the day and what's on my to do list. So I just jot down really important things. And then habit tracker is basically a few things that I want to be uh, accountable for to myself. Uh, and you know, I just make sure that uh, I've to those boxes like healthy eating minimal food end of day markups end of day markups is like a trading concept mm -hmm. where i mark my trading charts uh, according to what i think happened etc uh, etc et um so yeah that's it adios just as a reminder three things that i really look forward to in, in my morning is wake up early number two is meditate number three is have a plan uh, and i usually use notion of a uh, plan for the day um and yeah so if you guys like this video please hit like and subscribe it's on the left uh bottom corner if you're watching from the phone and i think right bottom corner if you're watching from your computer uh and thanks a lot and have a good weekend have a good week um, if you have any comments, do let me know and see you soon. Adios.